Hi there, Gord Fraser here. Welcome to stage five, I believe, of the Tour of Alberta. I'm the director sportif of uh, Silver Pro Cycling. Uh, maybe just take us through how the race has gone so far. You've had men in the break every day except yesterday, I believe. Yeah, that's that's right. I mean, we really haven't. Uh, we didn't really have a big plan going into the Tour of Alberta. Obviously, the level of competition is really high, so we wanted to. Uh, take advantage of every day and take as many opportunities as we can. Um, pretty much everybody had green light to, uh, to do the race that they, that they can. Um, really kind of loose tactics, we really didn't have super defined goals each day, but uh, just getting guys in breakaways, making something happen. And uh, to show for it, we have Ben Perry now in the KOM jersey for the last two or three days. So. That's been a, a great uh, thing for him, great exposure for the team, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll continue to defend that jersey all the way to, uh, to Edmonton. Um, there's no KOM points today, so he's got the jersey another day for sure. But today, you know, with the dirt, uh, the dirt sections, that's going to be a big, uh, a big hurdle, especially in the finale of this stage. 200K, it's going to be rainy, cold, and um, you know, hopefully we can just uh, stay out of trouble and have uh, good luck. It's going to take a lot of good luck today to, uh, to get some results. And like I said, you know, we'll hopefully make something happen in the finale. If not for the sprint, uh, probably Ryan Roth is, might be our fastest guy, but Alexander Ray, our, our New Zealand rider, He's also pretty scrappy, and uh, he likes to mix it up in the in the bunch finishes. So, you know, not super clear to find goals, but like I said, we're going to make something happen. And what does a race like this sort of mean to the team, the younger guys, that whether it's their first or second race against World Tour riders? What's this strong performance here sort of mean for their careers? Well, I think uh, any any chance you have to compete against the World Tour uh, competition is is uh, is a good thing. You know, the directors are here, so if they have a good good results, you know, it's. Uh, it's a good thing on their resume, um, but it's always good to perform directly in front of the uh, the other directors. And if they if they do well enough, maybe that's uh, you know something that can go in the memory of, of the directors here, and maybe it's something in the future that can get picked up by a bigger team. So that's always you know a good element for Silver Pro Cycling, uh, the development side. I think uh, you know if we can graduate some of our riders to the upper echelons of the sport. I think that's kind of where we're positioned right now in, in the big scheme of, of cycling. So, um, yeah, I think they're excited to, to rub shoulders with uh, with guys who've done the Tour de France and, and uh, show them uh, what they're made of. And a guy like Ryan Roth, who's uh, ridden at this level for a few years on the, in a couple different teams, what kind of role does he take on the team with the younger riders? Yeah, you know, Ryan is he's not... He's not a real outspoken guy, but he just leads by example. You know, he's such a good rider, very savvy, um, very strong, of course, and uh, he just brings this air of uh, professionalism to the team. And I think he uh, he does well, and, and uh, the guys can do well to emulate what he does. It's just his pre-race, uh, where he positions himself during the race, and then after the race, uh, all those little things that add up. You know, to be fresh at the end of a week-long stage race. Uh, Ryan knows all the tricks, so. Um, he's just a good uh, kind of a, a general on the uh, in the pack for the team, you know. And if he if if I need a call to be made on, on the go and spontaneous, Ryan usually does the uh, the right thing. Sounds good. And uh, I guess for tomorrow, with the last KOM points on the line, there's three climbs tomorrow. What's going to be the team strategy to make sure you keep that jersey? Well, I mean, Brent, Ben just has to watch two guys. I mean, we can have a uh, new breakaway go up the road. Uh, you know, the, the KOMs go down seven places, so if seven uh, guys go up the road that don't have any points, so uh, we can we can let them go. And uh, mathematically, we might still have to win a point or two here and there, but uh, he just has to mark two guys and and hopefully. Uh, Hopefully, if it comes down to it and he has to sprint uh, up the up the climb, he can he has legs to to take care of business himself. But we might get lucky and get some help from from just the tactical situation. And when you say you need seven guys up the road, is there a chance that some of your guys will be be those trying to initiate that break and get up there for him? Yeah, I mean, I think more we're just trying to get in the break to to take our chance to win the stage. Um, you know, of course the the KOM is a con is another complication, but. Uh, you know, more so, it's just important for Silver again to get in another breakaway in this Tour of Alberta, and, and hopefully we can get maybe a podium place, uh, a stage place, and to show for it. And who knows, maybe even a stage win. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much.